Kimberly. And I'm Rebecca. And this is the Loki Lego Launcher 3.0, the third launch in the Young Stuff Space Program. This launch was special because this time we were launching into the shadow of the solar eclipse on August 21st, 2017. It was even more special because we were invited to join the Montana Space Grant Consortium, which is sponsored by NASA. This was part of the Eclipse Ballooning Project. We were one of the 55 teams that was going to launch balloons into the path of totality in 25 locations across the United States. with the MSGC and Send to Space teams at the Fort Laramie Bed and Breakfast in Eastern Wyoming. We had two goals for this launch. One, to capture footage of the moon's shadow as it crossed over the Earth during the eclipse. And two, to capture and analyze data from our flight computer and solar panel as they pass through the solar eclipse. This launch was more difficult than the previous two launches because we had to figure out when and where to launch a balloon to get it to a certain point in space at a certain time. The shadow of the moon moved so quickly, we only had a two and a half minute window of time to target. We also participated in a NASA astrobiology project conducted by the Ames Research Center. We were going to launch microbes attached to our payload. These microbes would be exposed to the harsh environment of the stratosphere, where there is little atmosphere and lots of radiation, which mimics the Martian atmosphere. This research may help determine if there's life on Mars. Launch day was exciting and nerve-wracking at the same time. There were several balloon launchers at our site, and there was a lot of activity with payload preparation and balloon films. We were lucky to be able to fill our balloons with helium inside a building because the wind was very strong that morning. We had previously used 350 gram and 600 gram balloons, but now we were going to use a 2000 gram balloon, which is much bigger. to be part of the MSGC team. Not only did we learn so much from them and the Send Into Space team, but they were so helpful and welcoming. There's no way we could have done this launch by ourselves with the wind conditions. We were so lucky to be able to learn from scientists and experts. They taught us all kinds of things about the atmosphere and engineering. It's awesome to be able to learn from people with so much more experience. The Lego minifigure we sent up on this launch was Amelia Earhart, a strong, brave woman who was the first person to cross the Atlantic Ocean by plane. mistakes on this launch, including forgetting to check our wiring on our solar panel, so we unfortunately did not collect any solar panel data. We had tested all of our electronics, such as our GPS and APRS trackers, our two GoPros, and our flight computer, but we had forgotten to check simple mechanical wire connections. And 
learned we had a mechanical problem with a last minute change that knocked our GoPro out of alignment. Nevertheless, we were really excited to see that we had captured images of the shadow of the moon as it raced over the surface of the Earth during the eclipse. Our launcher made it up to 96,000 feet. But perhaps the most amazing thing about the eclipse was that it brought everyone together for a moment to look up at the sky. Wow! We had a long hike through cow pastures to retrieve our launcher. Thanks to our Spot Trace GPS tracker, we were able to find and recover it, even though it took a lot of walking. show all the other kids out there that science and technology are both super interesting and a lot of fun. And even though everything didn't work out perfectly this time, we're going to learn from our mistakes and improve our project next time. Special thanks to Miss Jen Fowler and MSGC for all your support and welcoming us to be part of your team. We hope you enjoyed our Loki Lego Launcher 3.0 video. Bye! Thanks for watching!